What is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Logan, aka the Army Vet Trucker. If it's your first time here, I am an extra board line haul truck driver for ABF Freight. Today, I guess I say, should say tonight, rather, we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're heading back to Dallas. I, um, I don't normally like to make videos at night, just for, for obvi obvious reasons. It's not great for the content. You guys can't really tell what's going on at night, but I figure today's video or tonight's video is going to be more of a little update what's going on with me and why I've been kind of radio silent. So probably just more of a little quick update. So it being nighttime, really, you guys aren't going to miss much. But um, I also wasn't really sure how many more chances I would have to make this video to talk about what I want to talk about today. So that's another reason why I'm just kind of shooting it at night whenever I can. Um, and I'll get more into that here in a minute. But no, like I said, anyways, guys, we're in Albuquerque right now, heading back to Dallas. I came in from Dallas yesterday, last night, and now today we're heading back to Dallas. Um, and this weekend is the 10th of November, 11th now, and uh, this is the first time I've worked this month. So for ABF. And now that headline is a little misleading, all right? That little fake newsy kind of stuff. The reason, half the reason I haven't worked this month yet is made is because, um, oh, this guy's gonna need to swing a little wide, but he's got a car behind him I can't pull out. Made it. I don't know why cars will just sit behind it. He's got two other lanes where he could have gone around, but he just wanted to sit behind. Whatever. Anyways, um, that headline's a little misleading because last weekend I had drill with the National Guard, so I couldn't have worked then. And then the weekend before that was October, and that's the last time I worked. So it's been two weeks since since I've worked. And yeah, guys, it's 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 not looking good and you know I, I like to keep a positive vibe on my videos not really get too much into the negatives but um, but yeah uh, I'm trying to wonder where to start I guess I'll just go back you know uh, I, I started working for ABF back in 2021 in June I, I got out of the army in May and started in June and bottom of the board bottom man you know all the all that jazz right out of school and it was good you know it wasn't great but it was good it was good enough and uh, definitely an upgrade from the army I, you know once I kind of figured out when to take ATO as the new guy and uh, you know make sure I take off Mondays and Tuesdays I could always basically get out on Wednesday Thursday and then work the weekend and then uh, that was kind of how it was for for about six months, June to October-ish, November-ish of 2021. And then that's when I went down to the border with the National Guard for, for Texas. I, I went down there and I was there for about, you know, nine, 11 months, something like that. And and then I came back and I think I would have started back working again in around the summer of, of 22. And from then all the way until this past summer of 23 for about a year, uh, it was great, dude. It was amazing. It was like the way that you would imagine it to be, that you would want it to be in the perfect... I mean, there was bad weeks, but I mean, bad weeks didn't wasn't... I didn't even have any clue back then what a bad week was until now. But, you know, I could reliably, for about a year, that time I got back from the border, I'd moved up. I started at the bottom in, in, in 2021 at, I think I was like 111 or 112 or something, and I moved up and... I've been sitting in the in the uh, low 90s, high 80s on our seniority roster in Dallas for for the last two years, and um, but no, for that whole year, basically from when I got back to them the border to to this past summer, I, I mean I could reliably take off the weekends. I could reliably uh, only work during the day. Like I could take an ATO unpaid the weekend on Saturday and Sunday go on the board Monday morning and I might miss a, a couple call blocks but I could reliably count on being getting out getting called out on Monday and working all week until Friday or Saturday then taking you know either dropping 24 or taking another two day, two day weekend off and that was like how it was for for 
you know, a while, uh, about a year. I mean, it just seemed, it was great. And then come July of this past summer, uh, it, it hit a wall, man. We, we had a new contract come up uh, for the union and we got pay raises and all that and a lot of cool stuff in there and that's all great and dandy. You guys can look back at my other videos. I'll talk more about that. And then other things in the freight world, you know, the other big union carrier, Yellow, went out of business. And, uh, you know, a lot of things happened this summer. And, uh, but basically for ABF out of Dallas, the, the, we, we hit a wall, man. Like, and it, you know, it was like we were going 100 miles an hour and we just hit a wall. And now, basically the new normal, ever since July, it's been, it's been bad. But this past couple months has been really bad it's gotten even worse so july they laid off or maybe september august time frame they laid off five in dallas uh off the road board and you know it, from then it was it was okay there'd be good weeks i mean i was still able to get every now and then a three thousand mile week I, I think there was a couple in there over the last three four months i've gotten a couple three thousand mile weeks whenever normally i could get one at least once a month but um but yeah no uh a normal normal month uh i i now i mean back then see like i say i'm sorry i'm mix, mixing up the timeline so if those lately those five guys off in, in the in the fall uh after the summer and then we, we we slowed down but we could reliably you know back to kind of how it was whenever i was brand new you know mondays and tuesdays probably not going to get a call it's probably the best days to take off and then wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday those are your days to make money and that was pretty standard. And I was like, okay, well, we're slow now. Just take a step back, kind of like how it was when I was new. And then we hit another wall or something, something else changed. And then now here the last, uh, I think about two weeks ago now, maybe three, they laid off another 10 drivers in Dallas. And, and then we just, we, we hit the wall and now we fell off the cliff because right now the way it's been the last two or three weeks, maybe a month, little, maybe a little bit over a month, it's uh, basically I only get I only get to work once a week, and you know if I go on the board on Monday I, I might not get called until Thursday or Friday, and, and that's how it was this week. I went back on the board after drill. I did drill Saturday Sunday. Went on the board on Monday, and I got called luckily Friday and you know Friday night. And I went out Friday night and now it's Saturday night, and I'm gonna get back uh, Sunday afternoon or morning, and I'm gonna hope that I can squeak in another run this weekend before the board clogs up. And, you know, there's a lot to, to unpack with, you know, hypothesis and conspiracies. The most consistent thing that makes sense to me is now that they're having to pay us more for our union contract and uh, everything that goes along with that, diesel prices are crazy. They're, they're wanting to charge more for shipping. You know, it just makes sense. If you're paying your employees more, you gotta charge more to be able to still make money. And basically the freight, I mean, you guys that are truck drivers probably know, uh, the, the, the truck driving industry is not good right now. I mean, it's terrible. A lot of these OTR truckload drivers are, are, are barely breaking even, or, or might, they might even be losing money on loads that they're taking. You know, and, and these shippers, they don't give a crap. They're, they're double brokering, triple brokering, and uh, they're, they're getting freight sent out, and these drivers are taking it. These drivers are taking loads and losing money on it. It's crazy. And so shippers are like, obviously, they're going to be like, no, we're not going to go with, you know, LTL or, or ABF. I mean, you guys charge too much. I can get this guy to do it for half as much. And this guy over here does it, and he's losing money on it. So, I mean, it's crazy. But that guy that's taking, the, taking that load and barely breaking even, I mean, it's better than sitting at home. So, I mean, it's just crazy times right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Something needs to change. But, um, but basically, long story short, um, you know, i got to start thinking about options. And I like ABF. I've enjoyed my time here. I like the job, and I really think it's about as good as it gets in trucking. There might be some, some onesies and twosies out there uh, that are better than here but as far as like i mean we got full company paid health care and and it's great you know great coverage and then if i can stick around here long enough i'll get a pension and i really like the company and i really like working here but going to work once a week i mean that's not gonna cut it i mean it doesn't matter and and you know i know this video is probably gonna start getting kind of long and and you guys you know might be i might be boring you by ranting but um 
one thing that irks me like to death and this, you know, take it with a grain of salt. This is just me, my, from what I experience, you know, with, without putting it in perspective too much, because, because I, I only know what I what I'm going through, and I only know what I see left and right. My 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 other Teamster brothers, what they're going through to my left and right, and, um, okay, <laughs> that was fun. Red light. Anyways, um. And us guys at the bottom, man, we're hurting in Dallas. And in Dallas, this is one of my problems with ABF. I think I highlighted on on this my, my one of my first few videos I made. And uh, in Dallas, we have a hog board. And that's union talk, you know, may, or maybe some of you other LTL guys might know what that means, but um, go ahead, after you. Um, no, we have a hog board in Dallas, as opposed to a wheel board. And whenever you go on the board, it's a queue. You know, you're waiting in line, you're waiting your turn to go to work. And, you know, that makes sense. But in a normal queue, whenever you are in line, say you're online to get on a, roll, on a roller coaster, you wait your turn. You know, they go in order from the, the time that you got in line, first come, they get in, and then wait your turn. You know, they eventually get to you. Well, that's basically what a wheel board is. We call that a wheel board in the union talk, in union, you know, speak. And so, with a wheel board, you wait your turn, you get called reliably when it's your turn. Okay, well now, if you got a hog board, say the same metaphor, you're in line for a, on the roller coaster. Okay, cool, you're waiting your turn. Okay, well, somebody else walks up to the roller coaster and wants to ride, but he's been, he's been with the company for, for five years and you've only been with the company for two. So he's senior to you. He's higher seniority than you. So he cuts you in line. And that just keeps happening. You know, every, every guy that's more senior than you that wants to ride the roller coaster, they just keep cutting you in line. And sometimes, and basically what that means at a certain point, you, you basically never get to ride the roller coaster because all the senior guys keep taking all the seats. And that's just a different metaphor to use to kind of understand what we're going through right now. When freight's good and business is good, the hog board works because there's enough freight to go around, even though even if you're getting cut in line, it doesn't really matter. And the problem arises once there's not enough freight to go around and you get the senior guys that are regularly getting plenty of work 2,000 3,000 miles a week and then us bottom guys are, are lucky to get out once a week and you know I don't know for sure I know I've talked to a lot of senior guys um, at ABF and I know a lot of them once they get like a certain point they're comfy and they start passing they might only work four days a week but th there's guys good guys out there that that will have the opportunity to work and pass it on to the lower guys and I appreciate that but there's definitely guys out there that do not do that. And they still are getting 3,000 miles a week. They don't even feel the slowdowns because they're senior. Now, I understand why the hog board exists. It, it's, there's not a lot of pros to sticking with this company besides the re getting to retirement. We, we all get paid the same. You know, you obviously get more miles if you're, if you're more senior, if you're on a hog board, but, so you get paid more. So that's your reward for sticking around is you get seniority and you get called more reliably. I get it. You know, that's cool. That's congratulations. You've been here for 20 years. Now you, you can basically tell them when you want to go to work. And that's, I'd love to be there one day, but it's just so hard to be the new guy, you know, and, and I thought I was getting pretty good through with it, you know, being here three years and, and getting up towards the higher seniority and start, starting to be safe from the slowdowns. Oh, was I wrong, man? Oh, geez. I mean, it's, it's worse now than it ever was. Let's just say that. And that'll be the end of that. And, and I know, I mean, I, like I said, I gotta start looking at options because they just laid off another 10 guys. And if they lay off another 10, then I don't think, I, I don't really know exactly what they're at right now. Cause we were at 118 and then they laid off five and then they laid off another 10 or 12 even. So I think they're up to like what, the 100 now or maybe 102 or something like that. Because, uh, well, I know 102 man's laid off, but uh, maybe 101 or 100 or 99, some more. That's where the bottom man is now. 
and I'm 89. So I'm on the cutting block. You know, it, it's 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 getting the, the seat's getting hot, and it's starting to get uncomfortable. So I, I got to start figuring things out. Like I said earlier, I don't want to leave ABF. I think it's a good company. I love I like this job a lot, and you know I love the company and everything. But but working once a week ain't gonna cut it. Now. For me, I'm obviously a little bit more fortunate than most people. I've got disabled, uh, I'm, I'm a disabled veteran through the VA, so I get help with that. And then um, I'm also in the National Guard, and that's gonna tie me in to probably one, I, I wanna hear from you guys on, on what your opinions are and your suggestions and what you would do in my situation. I, I, well, the last thing I wanna do is, is, is start hopping around to jobs because I've been here three years, and I know in the grand scheme of things, three years isn't that long. But if I start hopping jobs and, and quit ABF, and then I get somewhere else, and then it's bad, it's worse than it was here, you know, then I'm gonna start company hopping, and then all of a sudden, 10 years is gone, and I've never, I, I'm not even, you know, anywhere closer to retirement. That's the last thing I wanna do. I see enough guys around here that have already been company hopping, or their companies that they went, worked for went bankrupt after they worked their 10 years or or something like that and they're you know 60 years old and they still got to work another 20 years before they can retire i see that around here a lot and i don't want to be that like that i want to keep if i can stay here at abf and, and push through i want to so i want to i know one opportunity i have is to volunteer to go back with the national guard down to the border for another year and we have a rotation down there on the border mission where pay is decent you know it sucks that you have to be away, but at least it's in the, in the country and not overseas. So, I mean, I can go down there and do that. And uh, my position at ABF would be held because, uh, you know, we're protected as, as National Guardsmen. We, our, our spots get reserved for us. And so I would still be gaining seniority and my spot would be on hold for me from when I, when I come back. And I think that's probably the best option for me. I think that that's about as good as it's gonna get. That, that keeps me on with ABF and protects me, uh, my position with ABF, and, and it gets me working, getting good pay, and then maybe when I come back in a year, freight will, you know, come out of nowhere and, and things will be good again. Um, other options, I guess, are, are starting to look at other companies, other industries that aren't so sensitive to, to freight and the, the ups and downs of the freight industry. Um, you know, livestock or, or fuel. Fuel is one that I've looked into a lot. Uh, not to get too deep into this, I know this video is starting to get long. I said it was going to be a quick update, but I, I, I've started. Ever since my wife and I moved back down to Texas from Colorado, we've missed the crap out of Colorado. I know driving in Colorado is not uh, not great because of the snow and everything, but I, man, we miss miss Colorado. It, it was it was a great time up there, and um, I've been trying to figure out ways to go back you know ABF they have change of operations every year or so and and we have a terminal in Denver and I've been eyeballing it looking to see because if I move terminals uh, then I would lose my seniority unless there was a change of operations if there's a change of operations and, and your terminal might downsize and the, another terminal you're wanting to go to is, is upscaling then you would maintain seniority and I've kind of just been what, keeping an eye out for that and, and trying to move back to Colorado but one company that I looked into uh, that's uh, fuel up in Colorado is Maverick. Uh, Maverick. If you guys aren't from around the Rockies, you probably don't know, but Maverick's a, a fuel station, gas station. Uh, really cool. It's a, like a more mountainous, you know, adventurous kind of themed gas station around the West. Um, and it's a cool, uh, excuse me, it's a cool gas station. And I, I've talked to a few guys that work there and they say it's a really good company. And, um, you know, you guys can chime in, give me your opinions on, on on what you think. The trucking industry is massive, dude. I mean, it's like there's so many different uh, little sub-industries within trucking that aren't as dependent on, on freight necessarily. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, livestock, fuel, I mean, heavy haul. There, there's all sorts of different stuff. And, and, you know, since I have a fully loaded CDL, hazmat, doubles and triples, I, there wouldn't be too much legwork. And I've got experience. I could I could look at other companies, but like I said, I just don't want to start getting in this cycle of, of company hopping and, and all of a sudden I, I blink and it's been 10 years and, and I, I don't have, I'm not any closer to retirement. Um, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I, I'm, I'm pretty biased uh, with ABF. I, I don't really think it gets much better than this. You know, obviously there's there's downsides as there is with any company, but 
the, the, the dream is to, is to have seniority here, and once you get to a certain point, you basically just tell them when you want to go to work. They call you. As long as you've got the guys under you, you can pass. You, you can work days. If, and once you've got seniority and the freight's there after how, however many years, um, <clears throat> they'll basically always call you. You know, it's, you'll never not get a call. You can just go to work whenever you'd like to. Take your time off. Work four days a week, one week. Oh, I, I'm saving up for something. I want to, you know, I'll work six, seven days this week. You know, that's all, you know, luxuries that you get at this company after you've been here for a while and you have seniority. But, man, getting that seniority is, it's rough stuff, man. And, and I, I, shoot, man, it's, I mean, I want to be able to do it. And I want to be able to say that I can stick it out. But then again, working once a week that's that's rough so anyways guys that's pretty much gonna be it for this video I just wanted to give you guys that update let you guys know and, and if I go radio silent again after this video for a while uh, just know I, I, I'm gonna work it out don't you guys don't have to worry about me I, I, I'm, I'm always I've always been a provider you know for my family and everything I, I'll figure something out one way or another if it doesn't work out on paper for ABF we're not gonna go live on a, in a cardboard box under the bridge just so I can stay with ABF that's not gonna happen if, if ABF's not working then I'm gone it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, I want to be able to stay here, but I also got to pay the bills and I got to put food on the table. So between the National Guard, I mean, shoot, I'll go back active duty in the Army if I have to, if that's, if that's what needs to happen. But one way or another, we're, we'll be good. But if I go radio silent again for a while, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll make it work and um, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll chime back in with you guys at some point and get you guys an update what happens. Hopefully in a year from now, you guys will hear back from me again and, and everything's good. I'm back to trucking with ABF. I, I got back from the border or something like that and, and we're, we're back to normal. But who knows? Who can tell the future? I can't. I wish I could. But I know one thing for sure is, is we'll be fine. So, but... Like I said earlier, guys, let me know in the comments below what your suggestions are, what you would do in my shoes, and, and your opinions on everything, and maybe your, I'll, I'll listen to some of y'all's conspiracies, too, to hear what, like what y'all think is going on in the world right now, but uh, try to keep it, you know, a little bit realistic. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. I appreciate you guys watching all the way through the end if you made it. Uh, if you're liking the type of stuff I make, make sure you drop a like. Uh, comment below with any of your thoughts, ideas, feedback, and then make sure you guys click that subscribe button. It's free to you and it means a lot to me. With all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.